sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me. No, stop being... <laughs> What are you talking about? You just lost your nephew. I don't know why I thought my dad would be there. I don't think it would have been a very good idea. Lucky needed him. If he had been there, then they could have started to find a way to help each other, but now it's going to be that much worse. Hey, you know what? <clears throat> Lucky and your dad, they're going to be fine. They just need to work through it in their own time. But if they fall apart, then the rest of us are going to drift further and further away from each other. And you know what you need? You need to get out of here. Let's go to the city for the day, go to a park, uh, hit up a museum or something. Okay. That's <sighs> Mac. What does he want? He wants me to go take your dad's statement about what happened the night he hit Jake. Look. Officer. What brings you in off the street? I, uh, came to take your statement about the night you hit Jake. Commissioner sent you to round me up. Yeah, she told me to go easy on you, so if you want to do this another time, maybe when you aren't drinking. No, now is fine. I'm as sober now as I was that night. She left the haunted star at 7.45 that night? Something like that. I was trying to get to the justice of the peace office before he sealed the deal with Lucky and Siobhan. You were driving south on Lexington, yes? You know I was. I'm on the traffic cam at Gable in Lexington. Do you have any specific memories from when you were driving that night? I remember everything, except hitting a four-year-old. Was I driving fast? Probably. Did I feel any impact? No more than you'd expect on a dark stretch of rough road. Did I hear anything? Only my music blaring from the sound system. Would you say you were an alert driver that night? Yes. Would you say maybe you were distracted at any point? No. How much would you say you had to drink before you got behind the wheel? <laughs> <laughs> 